When the Pittsburgh Steelers selected first round running back Najee Harris out of Alabama with the 24th overall selection in the 2021 NFL draft, I was thinking, okay, you probably are looking for a guy that will reinvigorate or reestablish the run game in Pittsburgh. After last year, things didn't exactly, you know, when you think about the Pittsburgh Steelers, you think about, you know, years and years of the, that franchise, whether it was with the Iron Curtain or what, what, whatever it was, just establishing the run game, having some respectable quarterback play. But overall, you know, there's just been, I mean, there's so many, I mean, there's been so many uh, classic running backs that you could go on, uh, going back on. But I think, you know, when they drafted Najee Harris, who, by the way, is, um, you know, catching his stride, uh, and the, the, which is the latest premise of this video, I think that it really became apparent to me that obviously Ben Roethlisberger was going to do his thing. It was going to be what if after that. But, you know, when they selected Najee Harris, I really got excited for the Steelers. And you know what? It took him a little bit to get going. But now that he's here at a, at a certain position that he is having over 380 rushing yards on the season, you know, I'm really happy for him because I think he is an absolute beast and he's an absolute animal. So he's doing a lot of great things. So now it did get, you know, start to get out a little rough for him, uh, you know, against the Bills, the Raiders, the, the Bengals, all those teams. You know, it was a little rough for him. But these last three weeks before the bye week, of course, he was absolutely catching his stride. 15 carries for 62 yards and a touchdown against the pa uh, the Packers had also six receptions. Uh, the Broncos, he had 23 carries, 100. 122 yards, only had two catches, but came back um, on, uh, against the Seahawks and, uh, you know, had 24 carries, 81 yards, and six catches as well. So through the first, you know, six great games of his NFL career, 388 yards on 102 carries and two touchdowns, also has 34 catches for 244 yards. So there's a couple things I take away from this. Clearly, clearly the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to have their normal weapons um, on the offensive side of the football and guys like Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, um, you know, even Juju, I know, even though I know he's out and Fryermuth, by the way, is looking pretty respectable as well. So of course, yes, they're going to have their weapons. They're going to have Big Ben uh, Roethlisberger back there throwing those things and throwing the football the way he does. Um, and a defense that is respectable by all accounts. But Najee Harris, the way that he's been running the football um, and establishing himself, it's like when he catches a ball, in the open field, you just you hold your breath because something amazing is about to happen. Whether it's him, you know, jumping over someone or, or you know putting someone in a spin cycle, whatever it is, and whatever he has the ball in his hands, something special is about to happen. It's like it's what all the great running backs always had. And if you watch Najee Harris, you just you get excited because there is something amazing going to happen with when he gets the ball in his hands. And you know, I think moving forward for the Steelers, you know, who I think you know who currently sit at three and three, I think the Steelers, you know, uh, yes, I. I think it does come down to them. Yes, they may have a tough schedule, but at the end of the day, you know, they've got the weapons. Um, you know, I don't know what's exactly going on with, um, you know, Big Ben. I think he obviously he might be in his last run. You know, you've got teams like the Browns coming up, who I think in kind of a little bit of a fighting themselves mode right now. Um, but, you know, later on throughout the season, you've still got teams um, like the Chargers, like the Bengals, like the Ravens. Um, you know, in, in the Vi my Vikings, which I don't really, eh, I don't know how that's going to go. But you also got teams like the Titans, um, you know, the Chiefs, again, the Browns, the Ravens. Again, that's what's going to complete out their season. But you're going to see a guy, I think, that uh, in Najee Harris that is going to get the football a lot more. And by the way, I got him on my fantasy team. I, I traded Zeke away for him because I felt like he was going to be a great player. Um, and it, it kind of, but kind of hasn't worked out for me. But I'm willing to live and die by the trade in that scenario because I think Najee Harris is clearly hitting his stride. He's going to be a very special player for the Steelers, you know, this season and, you know, for future seasons, I think he's going to be, uh, I think he has the potential to be an all-time great. He has that special ability because uh, he is a very gifted athlete. He can catch uh, the ball out of the backfield. He can block, he can run, he can do all those special things. So I think he's going to be a special player. And right now, I don't think we can deny it. He's hitting his stride. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. And we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome and we love every single one of you. Check out our website at the Sports Brief Podcast dot Com. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. We'd greatly appreciate it. Give us a like and a sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything you'd like us to cover, make sure you guys send us an email at sportsbp at yahoo.com or just put it in the comment section down below and we'd be glad to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about Najee Harris hitting his stride.